one has overlooked the opinions of serious doll bludgers. And if you thought such people didn't exist, well, think again. He's the self-appointed Laird of Hamilton, the leader of the McGillicuddy Serious Party. Morning, guys. Keep up fitting the bling. A self-confessed doll bludger enjoying another cruisy day, courtesy of the state. Graham Cairns has begun the day with another $20 in his bank account, thanks to New Zealand taxpayers. He proudly sees himself as part of an elite group. Yippee! The long-term unemployed. Excellent. There's no interest in the situation's vacant column, but the local edition of the Te Oamutu Courier will soon provide the social highlight of the day at this rural haven near Hamilton. Who wants to play Spot the Differences? Oh, yeah! Here at the headquarters of the McGillicuddy Serious Party, the first rule of life is laid down in their policy manifesto. It's called funism. Maximum fun for the maximum number of people. Spot the Differences offers an opportunity to put party policy into practice. Mm. It sounds darker, but uh, it's, it's like a crossword for non-literate people. So it's to do with just the spatial orientations of things, and I think that's good for people to uh, to, ha to have as a little um, little thing they do every you know, every week or so, every so often. Obviously important here. Very important a social event. Very, very major social event on a Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Tell me, new curious. Pop the princess. Excellent. That'll be a few minutes. Have a seat. Perfect. Thank you. Very relaxed lifestyle. There's another party policy that Graham Cairns likes to preach. I think work, work's evil and should be outlawed. I, it's the policy of full unemployment. I, I believe work is humiliating, at least the work that we have, which is effectively wage slavery. Um, I'm, I'm a very busy person, but I won't work. Um, I retired at age 24, and I'm sticking to that. I have too much to do in this life to, to waste my time working. If the McGillicuddy's are serious about anything, it's working the system to their greatest advantage. Here on the rolling hills of the Waikato and the lee of Mount Throngia, you'll find their headquarters. But what most people don't know is that it was purchased and is being paid off largely with doll money. And not only that, but through a work scheme, some of its members are even being paid to develop it. It's a beautiful way of subverting the system, isn't it? Because the house, the land, is paid for by the doll. How are we different from, um, from other organisations who are doing exactly the same thing? Why is Clan McGillicuddy, why is our tribe being picked out? We're, we're just doing the same, getting, getting some land to stand on that all other tribes are trying to do. We just want our own Turunga Waiwai. We want somewhere to be. We, are, we don't want to be just to be um, at, at, the, at the whims of a few landlords. We need our own land. So now we've got 12 acres of clan land. All clans need land. The argument, of course, is that ultimately the taxpayer's paying for it. Well, the taxpayer pays for lots of things. They pay for all sorts of unusual bits of land use. And look at the way we're administering it. We're planting native trees. We're planting plantation forests. We're, um, you know, we're doing good things with the land. We're not getting rich off it. We haven't made a cent off the land and never will. We don't even own it personally. It's all tied up in the incorporated society. We're just doing it as a, as a sort of a, uh, as an artistic statement. It's holy work, in my opinion, very holy work, planting trees and looking after them and encouraging the, the native wildlife back. There is the alternative view held by many, that you're nothing but a pack of bludgers. Well, we certainly are, just like all, all the MPs and all other government employees. We're, 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 we are government employees. We're just a lot cheaper to maintain. It's in here, right up the back, where they keep the best shit. But the Laird of Hamilton and his merry band of men and women could soon find themselves pushing the proverbial Take it slowly. uphill. <laughs> That's because, as long-term unemployed, they're the ones being targeted by the government in the new Work for the Doll scheme. Bucking the system under the new regime could cost them dearly, could cost them their benefit. For a political party whose platform is based on a 
giant leap backwards, as evidenced by their farm truck, the government's new employment initiative goes a little too far in that direction.